Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Art of Waiting, a podcast brought to you by NemoQ. I'm your host, Tyler Kern. Thanks so much for joining us here for this episode of the show today. On this episode, we want to talk about data and analytics. Obviously, data is a massive topic across a lot of industries right now, and we're here to talk to Michael Berg, CEO at NemoQ, about data that is provided from NemoQ's virtual queuing technology. So, Michael, start us off today. First of all, just tell us a little bit more about what kind of data is available to customers uh, who utilize your technology. Well, it, every single one of our systems will capture data pretty much in, on every second of every minute. And we will capture things like who is waiting, what they're waiting for, what time they got there, what time they got served, how long they waited, uh, which window or register or person they were called to, how long they spent there. There's even additional data that can be added to it, such as... Uh, they called everything from transaction codes to just classifications where the person who served the customer actually tells them precisely what they were there for. Wow. That would allow, uh, that would allow somebody to look back and maybe pick one out of 50 different transactions and see exactly what the average wait time is, what the average uh, serving time is. Very, very interesting. So you're able to then parse out data into real-time data that people are getting up to the second, you know, correct you know, actual data at that moment. And then also at the end of the day, you're able to generate kind of larger scale reports for, for people that really want to go in depth into and look back at an entire day. So really, you have two different aspects of this. I want to talk about the real time data reporting, though. How accessible is this data? If I wanted to pull up my phone during the day and just kind of check on how things are going, am I able to do that? Yeah, there are many ways of doing this. And you may pull out your phone because you get an alert that says something's happening. There are mm -hmm. too many people waiting or the wait time is too long or something like that. Yeah. Uh, you can pull up your, your phone. Uh, you can look at a map uh, of your locations. Mm -hmm. You can uh, you know, point at the location you want, then you can drill down and see how many people are waiting, what they're waiting for. Uh, you can go in and see who is currently serving what customer. But more importantly, you may want to know how many windows are open, how many cashiers are open, or how many people are logged in at the time. Because right. if it's supposed to be 12 and you're down to 3, that, that could be a problem. And then you can <laughs> actually do something about it. Yeah, no, that, that's a that's a great point. Getting to see that and then know, okay, hey, there's there's an issue here. And I'm curious also, one of the things that, that people like to do these days with data is make it easy to look at, easy to understand, attractive, that sort of thing. It, are there options to customize the data in terms of dashboards and things like that? Absolutely, though, though we do have 150 canned reports that you can look at after the fact. Uh, you can set up uh, just about any dashboard you want. We also have APIs where you can you can create your own dashboard. You can export any data, import any data, mm -hmm. and uh, thereby create the view that you want. That's pretty awesome. And you mentioned there, you know, if you're supposed to have 12 windows open, you only have three, that, that's an issue. Are there alerts that can be incorporated into, you know, yeah, oh, alert, something not right is happening here. Can that be incorporated into this as well? A absolutely. You can, have, you can have an email go out or an SMS go out that tells somebody that, you know, something's happening. Uh, very long time ago when this was first introduced uh, on a much cruder basis, we actually had a director of a DMV uh, call up an individual office and ask to speak to whoever was at window number five mm. and tell them what a good job they were doing because they would served more people than anybody else. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, that's, a, amazing, that's, a, that's a great reason amazing for Amazing experience. And uh, yeah, you don't see that a lot anymore. That's really, that's really, really cool though. And, you know, with data being so important, everyone looking to uh, make their operations more efficient and, uh, and make it so that you can see more customers and that sort of thing these days. Data is obviously important. How do you view this as a differentiator for NemoQ and what you do? Well, I would say that one, we, we have all the reports. We have been uh, learning how to do this for 40 years. Mm -hmm. So we've had a few requests over the years of what things should look like and what kind of data they want to look at. And, and a lot of times it, it you know, it doesn't make any sense to us, but it does to them, and we produce it. Uh, I would say that we have simply, we've just been there, done that. We've seen all the, all the different scenarios and all the different reasons that people want the data mm -hmm. and how important it is that it's accurate and reliable, everything from congressional funding to, uh, you know, elections. It's a great point. Some, some high stakes, yes. for sure. Absolutely. Well, Michael, as we wrap up this episode here today, talking about data and analytics and the importance of it, uh, any final thoughts? What do you want listeners to walk away with today? Uh, I, I think it's important to know that the, the, the data is what drives a modern queuing system and the mm -hmm. use of the data. Uh, 
just, just having robust databases and being able to, to look at different offices. If you have 50 of them or two of them, you want to be able to compare them, see what they're doing, and uh, you know, dig in. And whether you are somebody who likes to have 20-tab spreadsheets or somebody who wants a 30,000-foot view, you know, we have it. That's a, that's, a, that's a great point. And data also just does such a good job pro providing that transparency and visibility on what's going on in the queuing system at any point. So it makes a lot of sense. It's Absolutely. excellent stuff. Nemo-Q is the website. If you want to learn more, Nemo-Q.com is where you should go. You can reach out, ask questions, and learn more about uh, the data that they have available and how you can make it work for you as well. So Nemo-Q.com is the website. For Michael Berg, I am Tyler Kern. We will talk to you on the next episode of The Art of Waiting, brought to you by Nemo-Q. Oh, 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 oh,